upside down. Pet, pet. What is going on, my fast, fast friends? Uh, Z900, and I have another bike. This is my other bike right over here. Right over here. Well, right, right over here. Uh, it's an Aprilia RS660, acid gold. Oh. It's actually in the shop again. We will talk about that later. Today, I wanted to talk about the Insta360 that I just got. And here's a little unboxing. I haven't really like opened it. I, this is the camera. <laughs> and uh, um, I need something, I need something, I need something, bam. There, that's exactly what I need for this job to open this Insta360. So I went ahead and got it. I've been wanting to get it for a long time. And I just decided to pull the trigger and get it because it's gonna make creating videos so much easier if I can open it. Let's see if that works. Looks like it comes with a Insta360 micro SD, 64 gigs. What in the world is this? It is not. There you go. There you go. So it comes with a 64 gig uh, micro SD card. And I'll open that here later on. But, um, okay. This is like magic. Does it just keep sticking <laughs> back onto the box? There you go. Alright, guys. I'm having a little trouble with opening a damn camera box. There you go. So I wanted to get the Insta360. I've heard a lot of good reviews on it, but I didn't really know much about it. Um, a lot of people were talking about it. A lot of people were, sent, were using it to make little short videos. A lot of people were using it for moto vlogs. So let's take a look. Insta360 One X2 Pocket 360 Steady Camera. And there it is that is the camera and this is the first time i've actually seen one up close and personal so it looks like it's got like a little film on both sides things that you can take out like you have when you buy a new cell phone or anything like that um what else does it come with it's got an accessory uh, bag right here As accessory bag and got a charger I'm guessing that's a charger uh, a few stickers and a little wipe for the lens some manuals that I'm probably never gonna read and this is the actual accessory bag. So I'm guessing you can kind of fit this in here, kind of leave it in there so it stays protected. Oh, there you go. Protection. All right, so that's what's in the actual 360 camera box. Let's see what else do we have here. I got a lens cap and I'm guessing it's for the, uh, yeah, for the lens. I wonder if it comes with two since there's two lenses. 
Anybody uh, have a 360? Tell me what you think down in the comments below. I'm really bad at opening packages. So it's like, if I wanted to return it, it'll look all uh, messed up. Oh, lens cap. It's actually like another kind of protection case. It looks like, so you would throw it over. Bam. And then you can put it in here. Just kind of cover it down so it's actually safe. Uh, because I am a motorcycle rider and I am a moto vlogger, I decided to get the Insta360 motorcycle mount bundle. Now, I have heard about this bundle, but every time I go and look at it, it seems like something changes. Like, it says back here, comes with a helmet mount, handlebar mount, and a tail mount. I think the last time I looked at it before, it had like a little selfie stick or something like that. I don't know. I may be wrong. And I think it does have the handle mount, which I may use either on the bars or on the actual grip. So it comes with a lot of things, a lot of little uh, grips and stuff like that. A lot of, um, yeah, you know, everything that basically you need for a GoPro or you can use for a GoPro. And that looks like the handlebar mount. Looks like it connects to that. I always wondered how sturdy these things were, but when you see people use them, they seem pretty sturdy. So let's go ahead and clip that on. And it looks like this may clip onto a handle. So let's let's give it a give it a go. There's not a lot of room on the Z900 for a handle, I'm guessing, or like a, for this, but like right here might work. Might work. And these things are supposed to be really, really strong. Yup, I can, I can kind of feel how it gets tighter and tighter. So that, that may work. I've even seen some people take it out and kind of put it on here, but I really don't want to do that. And then this thing can kind of cruise around right there and then you could put the 360 right here. I think that would be pretty fun. I think that would be a pretty uh, awesome point of view. And it, it seems pretty sturdy. I'm not gonna lie. It seems pretty sturdy. So again, like I've seen some people, I've seen some people even put it on their uh, mirrors. So let's, let's see what that does. Would it even be, yeah. So, I don't know, no. It ain't gonna work with the mirrors. It's a little too loose. I've seen people do this, where they put it right on their bars, on their grips, but again, I don't know about not having, you know, it is the brake side, so it's not too bad. There's no throttle here. The throttle's on the other side, obviously. So it's not too bad, but I still rather put it on a bar if I'm gonna use it on the Z900. So let's take that out.
And then you have this little tail end. Where if you want it to, you can stick that right there. You can probably take this and stick that right there, and then you have a little swivel area if you wanted to stick it on your tail if you have a cowl and then you would have to put the adhesive in order to clip it on there it could even clip on the gopro mount on a helmet if you wanted to do that but see how this will go up here and it'll clip so if you had an adhesive uh, and a base somewhere in your helmet you can do that Pretty cool stuff, pretty cool stuff, I gotta admit. I, um, I've seen a lot, a lot of videos of these things and it just it got me thinking that I can do a lot more creative videos instead of a POV or a point of view or a camera. If I have this, I can do way, mo way more, um, I can catch a lot of things that maybe the GoPro wouldn't catch having a 360 camera all around you. You know, if someone does hit me from behind, um, safety wise, using it for safety, you know, cause it's good to have a, some sort of video recording on your motorcycle because we get blamed for everything as motorcycle riders. So, you know, if you want to prove that you weren't speeding, if you want to prove that the person hit you from behind because they were on their cell phone, or the person cut you off because they were on their cell phone or they're not paying attention, having a camera is important. Now, this is my POV on my helmet, but it doesn't capture what's behind me. So the Insta360 will capture 360, as it says all around me and if a car comes up behind me and you know slams into me I may be able to get some of that on video which is important anyways yo if you have the insta360 um, let me know in the comments below what you think how do you think it'll help uh, regarding safety how do you think it'll help regarding creativity because I am stoked about having this now and I can't wait to put it on the bike and show you guys what I can do with it. I can't wait to put it on the bike and learn myself how to mess with it. So with that being said, I'm hoping that next video I will have it on the bike. That I will be talking about it and kind of uh giving my review on the actual camera itself it's an expensive camera guys it's like this whole kit is a little over 500 dollars so it better be good <laughs> it's the 360 you better be good anyways my fast fast friends if you like the content make sure you hit that like button if you're not following already make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to follow me on instagram Follow me at moto underscore R-E-T. Y'all ride safe. Y'all be safe. Have a good weekend. See you on the next one. Peace.